Hello community, today we have two new AI models, QN 2.5 Mathematics and a brand new vision language model. Isn't this beautiful? And we have here the technical paper and the models. So you see today, September 18, 2024, QN Mathematical Technical Report towards mathematical expert modeling via self-improvement. Isn't this beautiful? So we get a 1.5, a 7 billion and a 72 billion new model and it includes chain of thought and tool integrated reasoning. You know, this Python interpreter, for example. But on the other hand, today also we have here new vision language model and it is an enhanced one it is the new version here with the model's perception of the world at any resolution both here at our friends here from the alibaba group from the researcher over there in china and they tell us here hey we have some beautiful new we introduce here the naive dynamic resolution mechanism which enables the model to process imaging of varying resolution into different number of visual tokens they go here with the multimodal rotary position embedding i have a specific video on this you can check it out and to tell us we have a version of 2B, 8B and 72 billion parameters and they say notably the new QN2 vision language 72 billion model achieves results comparable to leading models such as GPT-4, Omni or Claude 3.5 Sonnet across various multimodal benchmark outperforming other generalist model and the code is available for us on GitHub. I mean, is this great or is this fantastic? Now you might say, okay, but we are primarily of course interested here in mathematics so do we have to code for QN 2.5 MAT and is it open source? Well, of course it is open source. We go to QN language model, QN agent, and in the agent depot we see here 3,100 stars. Great. We see just yesterday they updated here the QN agent here at the tool integrated reasoning agent for the QN 2.5 mat. Beautiful. This is what we need. And you say, okay, I have here the agent framework here featuring function calling, code interpreter, rack, and Chrome extension. But you also have the code for the pure mathematical. Yes, of course. Here we go, QN 2.5 Matt. It's a little bit early, just happened yesterday. They're filling it up currently, so never mind. And if you go there, they tell you, hey, a month ago, we released the first years of our mathematical LLMs. They called it here in the good old times, the QN2 Mathematic. And today we upgraded it and open sourced here, and it is open source. Yes, check mark, QN 2.5 Matt, including here the base model, 1.5 billion, 7 billion, and the 72 billion model. We have even an instruction tune model. My goodness, a 1.5, a 7B, and a 7B instruct, and the new mathematical reward model. And the reward model is really this special thing that we're going to have a look at a little bit later. And they tell us, hey, unlike the very old, I mean, last month, QN2 math series, which only supported chain of thought. <laughs> Do you remember somebody uses chain of thought? Unbelievable, this old fashioned technology. To solve mathematical problems in English, Q2.5 man math series is now expanding using both chain of thought and tool integrated reasoning. Finally, we can use tools to solve mathematical problems. And they do this in Chinese and in English. So we have a multi-modal, multi-language model. This is simply beautiful. And I'm going to show you. Can it try it out immediately? We have a space for this. So you send out in your mathematical questions and they answer it. Now they tell us, hey, we have a blog for this. And you say, this is great, but we want to have a look at the code. And they publish the code. Look, QN 2.5 Matt can be deployed in the same way. Here's the code snippet here for the Hugging Face Transformer. My goodness, they give you here. You have to type. No, you just copy this code. You say model name QN 2.5 Matt 72 billion instruction model. Then you go simply with the old fashioned auto model for causal language meaning reasoning from pre trained. You have your auto tokenizer. Then you have the prompt. Find a value of x that satisfies a particular equation, and then you have a chain of thought for the message. Please reason step by step, and you know this old-fashioned chain of thought. And then finally, we have some tools that we are able to integrate the natural language reasoning into program. And great, but you know they also give you here on hugging face here, and this is the code here, the reward model. You see, model name Q1 2.5 Matt reward model 72B auto model from pre-trained. Yep. 
tokenizer yes and here we have our chat so the system says please reason step by step and put your final answer within the box thing then we have the user content and it says janet stuck slay 16 eggs per day she adds three eggs for breakfast and every my goodness this is boring so the assistant says to determine how much janet makes for selling the duck eggs so you have this typical egg problem Great, try it out. The code is real simple. Code is available for you. And we even have a blog here. And this is from September 19. Yes, this is also today. So world's leading open sourced mathematical LLMs. And they show you here for a particular mathematical benchmark here. We have a serious short testing here. They have here in the new QN 2.5 MAT 72B instruct model is now here the best open sourced mathematical LLM. And if you look here at GPT-4 Omni, or if you look here at Claude 3.5 Sonnet, or Gemini MAT Specialized 1.5 Pro here, they are only here at the 80% success rate. But they achieve here 85.9%, and this is fantastic. And I've told you, we have life. Actually, nobody's there. Uh, space here, you go to Hugging Face Spaces, QN, QN 2.5 Math Demo. Here you have a drop in image where you have your mathematical problem or you can sketch up your mathematical problem, whatever it is, and check it out for your ideas. Here you find the link to this Math Demo. It is real nice. You have to try it out. Of course, they use the OCR. So yes, there are other possibilities, but for the moment, hey, this is a free demo, so let's try it. On Hugging Face, you find here, my goodness, 117 17 team members and a collection you see the new q when updated just five hours ago go there my goodness it's free come on the 0.5 b the 0.5 b instruct the 1.5 and all the stuff then and this is nice for coding so if you're interested in coding hey three hours ago we have a q when 2.5 coder isn't this nice? We have the 1.5 billion, the 1.5 billion instruct, the 7B, and yes, it goes on. And then I just showed you here the math demo, and this is great. Everything is available on Hugging Face right now. And you say, hey, can you solve this simple question why QN2 math was already great, but now QN2.5 math is even better? Can you explain here in detail? how we did it and i've said of course because i've written down here for you the three simple steps how to do this so first the qn and math based models are trained on a high quality mathematical pre-training data set they call this the corpus one and you have about 700 billion tokens in this second tells us the friend from alibaba group we train a mathematical specific reward model derived from the mathematical model to create here the math instruct models this reward model is used to construct supervised fine-tuning data through rejection sampling the reward models plays here the key role in the reinforcement learning stage rl where we employ here our group relative policy optimization following here the sft and the third step is also easy they synthesize additional high quality mathematical pre-training data synthesize this is not a foundation for the new Corpus version 2 and the updated Corpus contains just over 1 trillion tokens and it is used to train here the new QN 2.5 mathematical models. This is it, as easy as can be. Isn't this fantastic? So, as I just wanted to tell you before I was interrupted so rude by this slide here, if this is here really the best open source model, we just go to DeepSeek version 2.5. And remember, just about two weeks ago, no, exactly two weeks ago, they published here the DeepSeek version 2.5. And you say, oh, there's only the Coda version 2 instruct. And the 2.5 is missing here. How is this possible? Is it really better? Well, it depends. If we look here at the DeepSeek API documentation and you have here the benchmark data for the general capability evaluation and in dark blue, you have the version 2.5 now there. Yeah, you see on the APACA evaluation. Yeah, it is quite a jump. And if you go for the arena hard test, yeah, from 66 to 76. Yeah, this is quite a jump. But if you go then for other benchmarks, it is quite yeah, a little bit of a jump. So it really depends so therefore i would say hey if you have this particular mathematical benchmark maybe there's here the latest thing from deep seek version 2.5 missing but never mind this was just done two weeks ago so you see everything is brand new of course they have function calling and 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 completion and everything else so it is a hot topic but what we want to do we want to have a new format and you say what do you mean 
I'm in this one. All oh, you, you sent me emails. Hey, you have to check out the notebook LM by Google. And they said, yeah, do you do amazing thing? And they have now Gemini 1.5 Pro finally here as the AI brain for the new notebook. So have a look at the new notebook. So today, today is the day. We're going to look at the notebook. And you know what? We examine exactly the two PDFs that were published today. The latest technical paper on QN 2.5. And so here we are. This is my notebook LM. You have to log in with your Gmail account. And as you can see, September 19, this is today. I already checked it out. So what I did, I uploaded here under sources here, my two PDF documentation from the archive server, as you see, QN 2.5 mathematics and the QN vision PDF. Now, isn't this great? So with the two sources uploaded, now we're ready for the action. So what we do? We say, okay, we have two sources, as you can see, start typing, okay, notebook guide. Now, what is nice and what everybody tells me, you have to try out the audio overview, click to load the conversation, and then they create for you a podcast. So let's do this. Okay. So the idea is simple here that, hey, Eight minute podcast is created on the title QN 2.5 Matt and Vision. Well, this is, of course, the name of my notebook. So great. And then you have here questions, you know, these typical predefined questions. And I thought when I tried this out the first time that those questions might be the content here of this audio book. But no, it is not. But hey, let's take it step by step. So what we have, the notebook guide, you can have here a study guide created for you, a table of contents created for you, a timeline or a briefing documentation. And you see, you already have here a summary. And the summary is nice because remember, I have here two PDFs and it gives me here the QN 2.5 mat and it gives me here the vision language model. And it has here all the information about this and this is Absolutely beautiful. So I simply say explain your technical context of both PDFs to us. So couldn't it be simpler? So let's have a look. Yes, thinking. This is Gemini 1.5 Pro. I don't know if it's the experimental or the solid one. Okay, here we go. So let's see what we have. Technical summaries, plural, okay? So we have one here. This is a very short summary of the mat. And then we have here the vision language model a little bit. So this is a very, very short structure. Okay. But what you see immediately here is here our indicators. Now let's click on the indicators and you see here now our source guide opens up and we are here in the mathematical structure. And they tell us here in this style where number one is taken from. This information is simply here, the title here, and this is the introduction. Then you can scroll down and then you have the complete PDF available for you. And if we go then, I don't know, let's click here on chain of thought and let's click here on four. So we go down and you see paragraph 3.1.2, the information that is presented here under chain of thought and integrated tool integration is exactly from this article. So you have kind of a grounding now. Now, I have to say, when I tried this out the very first time, this is rather short. If I say, hey, explain here the technical content, these are 35 pages, 35 pages here in 10 lines and not even a sentence, but just the a bullet list. Okay, so, but you know what? Let's go here with the predefined question, what the notebook LM thinks we should say. So I say, hey, what are the key differences between MAT and QN2 MAT and QN2.5 MAT? I already showed you this, but okay, notebook doesn't know this. So let's have a look. We can say thank you. So I don't know yet if I like notebook language model experimental, yes or not. Check it out for yours, for your interest, for your models. Okay, a little bit more data, key differences. Yeah, beautiful. Here's a breakdown of the MAT document, the training data. Yeah, model initialization. Okay, post-training enhancement. Yes. Tools like Python interpreter for problem solving. This is nice. Let's have a look where this is. Okay, as well. <laughs> okay. Let mall, okay, but well, then yes, we evaluate the models on eight English and Chinese mathematical benchmarks. 
Great. So this is exactly where the grounding happens. Beautiful. And Q went 2.5 mat, consistently outperformed Q went 2 mat, of course, across all models on task. And do we have some, yeah. And let's now shift our attention to table 4 to analyze this. Okay, I do not see a table 4. Ah, oh, this might be table 4. Okay, no, this is table 5. Okay, so from the output, yeah, maybe not really what I'm looking for, but you know what? Let's just say, hey, show me table 4. Just want to have a look at this. Let's see how it is in the presentation of this data. Just have to wait a little bit. Well, table four. Table compares different model sizes, chain of sort and tool integrated reasoning. Here's a breakdown of the information, the benchmarks. Yeah, yeah, but where is table four? Table four is significant because, but no table four. Okay, so let's see if it can depict here an image. And I don't want to make it too hard, so I say, hey, show me any image from the PDF. Choose whatever you like, just show me an image. Show me that you can detect an image and present the information that is encoded in the image for me. This image showcases image context, model response, significance, image source, image 7 from vision. Okay, I go there. Okay, now the image is missing. So, if I do not have access to the table data, and I can read the table as a normal human being, and if only the text here of the image is here, but the images are missing, if I want to understand this, and if I want to put in my new AI research paper, and there is neither a table nor an image for me to understand, it is nice that the notebook here has here the textual context of the description of figure 7, for example. But if all the images are missing, this is not really helpful for me. But you know what? Maybe it is helpful for you. So the little hype that I noticed here on the internet here about here the notebook language model here from Google. Here you have it live in action here with the latest AI research data here for QN 2.5 mathematics and QN 2 vision. And as you see, it is not really helpful now for me, but maybe for your case, this might be completely different. If you do not operate with tables, if you do not operate with figures, if you do not operate here with complexities, maybe this is here the perfect notebook for you. And with this short analysis of the new notebook language model by Google, I think this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with the papers. They're really informative. They give you all the code. Everything is available from Hugging Face. You have even the demo spaces on Hugging Face to try it out immediately to get an idea how good it works. Maybe you have your Chinese version or you go here with an English exercise. It is bilingual, which is very interesting. Try it out yourself, and if you come to a conclusion, hey, why not leave a comment here in the description of this video? Hope to see you in my next video.